guys and welcome back to my channel. Today is the 18th, Wednesday the 18th of November. It's already midway through November which is so weird and the second week of lockdown I think. <laughs> I think week three starts tomorrow on the Thursday. Yeah I think that's right. Time is kind of losing meaning at this point I won't lie. Um, the last few days I've kind of been struggling quite a bit. I didn't have much sleep because I was really busy. I was really stressed about a lot of different things. Um, so yeah, I just wasn't in the best mindset. You'll know when this video comes out if I put up the study with me, but I don't think I will have because it was a bit chaotic. But I filmed a study with me this weekend and I don't think I had the energy to even talk to the camera, honestly. <laughs> I had a lot of sleep last night and woke up and felt a bit better, so that was good. So yeah, I just had my supervision for the week on my weekly essay. This was the last week where I was writing on a different writer or a different topic. So after this I'm moving into redrafting my essays to hand in my final portfolio next term. The main stress uh, lately has been my dissertation, which I have to write and hand in at the end of next term. Um, I didn't really know what I was supposed to be doing at this point and I haven't been in touch with my dissertation supervisor because I don't yet know who they are. Um, this is kind of getting sorted in the background but my supervisor for this topic who's working on my portfolio with me was so lovely and gave me lots of advice on what I should be doing at the minute, what research I can do and stuff like that. So. I think I've got that figured out, or at least for now I have. <laughs> so right now I basically need to decide how much of the next week I'm going to spend on redrafting my essay, my dissertation and my seminar reading, as well as kind of other jobs that I have to do. So yeah, I'm going to get into planning now. talk about my career plans for after I finish my degree. Um, I would like to talk about that at some point on my channel but probably not yet. Um, I have a few options and I'm kind of working through them to see which one is going to suit me best. Um, I'll be trying to get work experience probably next summer and then after my undergrad I may be doing another course, I may be trying to work, I may have to take a year out to work if I want to do a postgrad, things like that. So yeah, there are a few different options and I'm going to wait till I have a bit of a clearer idea before I talk about it on here. It's actually just before 10 now because um, it took me a bit longer to get up this morning and get ready and then I decided to do some exercise to try and wake myself up. Um, I've actually booked into the Magdalen Library from 10 till 12 which is kind of the morning slot. It's kind of odd only being able to book at certain times and, and not being free very often but at least there do seem to be some spaces and I've managed to get in there a few times to do some work. The reason I bring up career plans is because yesterday afternoon I was actually um, doing some stuff to do with careers research um, and that took up most of the afternoon. Again I'm not going to go into specifics but I only started my seminar reading on the evening and as a result I haven't finished it yet so that's what I'm going to be doing this morning. Um, this afternoon I also have to try and finish my editing for the video that will go up tonight um, but that will be after my seminar which is half, no, no it's not half one, one until half two. <laughs> After wiping down my desk, I started on my seminar reading. Here I am highlighting an article on my laptop. I had two documents to read, one article on girlesque poetry and another document put together by my supervisor. This had some questions that I had to think about and snippets of articles to analyse. All of my learning is online, so here I am talking on my Zoom seminar.
I've just finished my seminar, it ran a little over. Um, it was definitely an interesting one. We were studying the body and politic um, as a concept and girlesque poetry, which is kind of third wave feminist poetry. Um, it does deal with some quite like explicit themes and uses quite explicit language sometimes, <laughs> which was um, definitely interesting to discuss with a supervisor, but it turned out to be quite funny. So um, yeah, now I'm gonna move on to editing my video. I've got three and a half hours to try and edit it before it goes up, which is not impossible, but it's gonna be a bit of a rush. So we'll see if it works. <laughs> This was my first time working in the law library so I was a bit nervous but it has a 9am start time for booking and it was also very quiet so it was very good for productivity. After unpacking my bag I just got to work. What I was basically doing this morning was going through my essay and deciding which bits needed changing. So I was looking at the feedback from my supervisor and then writing down notes on articles I needed to read, books I needed to get out of the library and also just sections of my essay that didn't quite sound right, needed rewording or needed their argument tightening up a bit. This was really important for improving my essay and it's how I redraft them. It was actually a really good session because my booking slot was four hours long which meant I had plenty of time to get lots of work done. I always laugh when people walk past my window and see that I've got the tripod set up. <laughs> it's Saturday. Yesterday when I came back I didn't do any more work because after going to the law library I actually went to the English faculty library because I had to scan in some pages for my essay. Um, the printer didn't work, it was taking ages and things like that so one of the staff members at the faculty library helped me because they're honestly all the loveliest people ever. Um, so that was good but I didn't get back until like two o'clock so I had to eat lunch then. Afterwards I had a nap, it was very good um, and then I had ballet on the evening so I didn't do anything else after that. <laughs> This morning I was supposed to be going shopping with Lydia but she's accidentally double booked herself uh, so I'm going by myself but I'm going to Tesco now, get some food, I'll probably do some work and yeah that's all. Hopefully I'll be able to see one of my friends today because I didn't see anyone yesterday and yeah it's not great. Um, mm. I've actually been rewriting my CV, that's what I spent the afternoon doing and then I went to see Lydia for a walk. I'm struggling a bit. <laughs> I feel like lockdown is starting to get to me and I'm more tired than I was before. I'm quite stressed. I thought I should probably mention that. I am finding it quite hard to be productive at the minute. I don't think work would really help me right now. I think it's probably better if I just get some sleep. And I made the chickpea curry just before, so that was really nice. It was good to get some good food. <laughs> Hi guys, it's Monday. Um, yesterday morning I filmed a live study with me so I couldn't uh, film while I was also filming that. Um, it split the video up into three parts so I'm gonna have to check that none of it's gone and it will actually work as a full video before I put it up but hopefully it will have worked and then that will go up on the channel as well. Um, at lunchtime I had my dance class and then Later in the evening, I did about two hours work on my essay, but I didn't do too much. Um, I was still feeling a bit 
weird yesterday so I didn't really want to film very much. Um, today is my essay writing day of course, Monday. I won't be writing a new essay but I'll be finishing my redrafting. So I've booked into the Modern Library now. I'll be working in there from 10 till 12 and I think I'm going to try and do some more reading. So I'm going to look at the other articles that my supervisor suggested and then in the afternoon try and work them into the essay and work on all of the other corrections. In the library I wrote a list of everything I still needed to read and add to my essay. I can't remember which play I was reading here but I think it might have been Happy Days by Samuel Beckett. My essay was on Beckett this week and I know my supervisor did suggest Happy Days for wider context. I then moved on to an article she suggested so as with my seminar reading I just went through and highlighted sections and then I pulled those out to reference in my essay. What is my hair doing? Honestly I don't know where this afternoon's gone, I haven't really done that much work. Um, I started on my essay after lunch and you know I was doing a bit more reading, I hadn't finished all of the articles that I was going to use to add into my essay, does that make sense? I hadn't finished reading all of the articles I was going to use in my essay. Is that what I said? This morning, so I was doing that this afternoon, I did a bit more editing, the fire alarm went off at one point, I started procrastinating, classic. Um, and I've just been on the phone to my family for about the last hour and a half, so it's now half five somehow. Um, I'm going to go make some food, honestly, because I'm hungry and I feel like I should just have some food, take a full break and, yeah, just start off work after and make sure I finally get all of this work done tonight. Hopefully. Hello, it is Tuesday. I was gonna say Monday. No, it's not Monday, it's Tuesday. It's half two now. I was working on my essay quite frantically this morning. I stayed up really late and got up early to finish it as well. It also ended up being about a thousand words over the word limit. I think it's fine though because I wanted to add in all of the reading she suggested and then work on cutting words after because I'd rather there not be missing content um, when we can kind of just cut random words after rather than whole sections. Um, so hopefully it's a good essay. I think, I think I did okay this week. I think it was a good essay, but we'll have to see what feedback I get tomorrow. Um, I was then working on my CV because I had an appointment with a careers advisor to ask them about writing my CV and what I should have on it and things like that because of course I will have to start thinking about work experience and things. If you're a university student and you're worried about what you want to do with your life, um, what industries you want to go into, if you just don't know kind of what roles are out there, or you have a specific question like how to write a CV or how to get work experience or anything like that, I would definitely recommend seeing if you have some sort of career centre because I've used a career service a few times now and they have loads of information online as well, they have loads of free resources for us and um, they've always been super friendly and helpful and yeah I'm really grateful to them and everything that they do for people. I'd definitely look into it if you're a bit stressed. <laughs> Tonight I have conditioning and afterwards I'll be ordering food as is kind of my weekly habit at this point um, but I have a few hours off now so I actually think I'm gonna have to go shopping. I've got just a few things that I couldn't carry back from Tesco on Saturday. So I guess I'll have to use my break to do that. <laughs>